Hey guys, Nebris here, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. I have been doing a little bit of Thomcraft work. I've made a node stabilizer, which eventually I'm going to make into an advanced node stabilizer. Um, that was a very simple process. I don't even think it's worth going into, but this is this has been a very, very slow process of getting this node into this one but it seems to be speeding up as this one gets more and more dominant compared to this one so I'm hoping that's the um, that's the case it just needs to the bigger this one gets the easier it'll strip from other nodes I'm hoping that's the case otherwise this is gonna take a long time for me to make a super node so downstairs I've been doing a bit of work do I still need this torch? Seven. no I don't downstairs I've been doing a bit of work I've got myself what is going to be a obsidian totem room actually do I need 12 of these? now that I think about it I might need 12 what is it? oh that would be under thomic tinkering I'm gonna make an osmiotic enchanter six pillars I'm not seeing the word 12 anywhere six pillars blah 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 in the vicinity four blocks pillars need to be at the same level of the table it is or at least the base one pillars need to be made from two to twelve obsidian totem blocks yeah I done goofed so I'm gonna need to get rid of these guys thankfully they don't break I actually should use more of them now now that I realize that they don't break those are tiles, these are totems. And down we go. That looks better anyhow. A little bit of redundant lighting. And there we have it. Oh, okay, so that looks cool. And now all that is left is for us to make the enchanting table thing. So that requires two thomium ingots, a spellbinding cloth, and a bunch of obsidian tiles, and resources which I hope I already have. Alienus cogito... Cog there's an N in this for some reason. I guess it's based on the word cognition rather than cogito, which is the Latin for to think, I believe. So I, I, I've been omitting the N when I say it. Um, vacuous and Precantatio. And Potentia. So I have all those. I have the Permutation. Did it need Permutation? <laughs> I don't even remember. No, it didn't. Um, there's the co Cognitio, Precantatio, um, Vacuous, uh, whatever that is, and Alienus. What is it? Perm I've I've forgotten already. What's it called? Potentia. Wow. Brain fart. So I have everything I need, and additionally, you'll notice that I finally balanced this thing off with um, the wither skelly skulls that I wanted to balance it off with. So here we... Oh, that's not how you start it. Click on this part. Ooh. It's a lot of precantatio. I hope nothing goes wrong, because I do not have a backup one of these. I do have backup thomium and tiles, but I, I'd have to run to get them. So I'm, this this is gonna take a while. I'll just skip to the ending. Oh, can't get in front of it. All right, we made it, and we got a little bit of flux flu. One of the items did fly off, so despite the fact that I have this pretty well balanced, I'm still getting a little stability issue. And this thing, I think it just. I think what this does is it removes enchantments from things. It would be silly, but I, I guess I never really need this helmet. So yeah, um, it would just remove the enchantment and take some durability. I really don't need that at this time. Bounce, bounce. Let's see if this has grown at all. 21, I think, is higher than it used to be. 25 is lower than it used to be. 
All right, so downstairs we go. We'll put this right there. I wonder if it maintains the light. So I put that there, and let's say I want to enchant. I don't have anything to enchant here. Let's grab. Oh, let's grab my um my etheric sword that I made. Did I make that on camera or not? I can't remember. First of all, grab some food. Getting a little low. Nom nom. And I made a full set of these things. Let's grab this etheric sword. I'm probably not going to enchant it quite yet. I just want to, you know, do the proof of concept with you guys. Because this is going to... I, th I believe eventually this is the strongest sword I'm going to be able to get. Alright, so I could put Smite, Sharpness, and um, D, 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 D. So if I wanted Sharpness 5 on this thing, do I need Unbreaking? I don't... I don't know. Looting, fire aspect, unbreaking, final strike, which is the critical hit one, which is something I do want. Vampirism. Oh, you can't put vampirism and final strike on. And you can't put final strike and looting on, so that's interesting. Or maybe if I took this off, I could have... Oh, I could have Final Strike. That's weird. The, um, the, what is it, limitations on this. That's a shame. Alright, anywho, Final Strike or looting. That's a good question. I think going around, I might want looting for just an every everyday usefulness sort of situation. Whereas Final Strike, that's more of a boss killer type thing. Oh, but I can stack those. Looting, vampirism. Alright, so that would cost me a lot of order. Hmm. I don't think I'm ready at this time to do to commit so I'm just going to go ahead and rip it off. We'll do some enchanting later. Alright, um, so what to do for today's episode? I could continue on with Applied Energistics. I've still got a lot of work to do with that. Um, I haven't really done much of anything down here. All I made was the very beginning, that one piece of equipment that I need. Uh, where... I don't even know where it is. It's a very important thing, and I just spent a whole episode making it, and I have no idea what happened to it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Also somewhat frightening. Where on earth? I, I'm, I might be panicking. I might be panicking. It's probably down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's right there. I placed it right... That's a stupid spot for it. <laughs> Oh my god, can I pick it back up? Oh, I can pick it back up. Ah, uh, panic mode disengaged. Um, so I think what I want to do is I want to keep using these chests, possibly, but I'll have storage buses underneath them so I can access them from the machines. Um, but I'm going to want to replace... I definitely want to replace these better barrels with... Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and I, I want to set up auto-crafting, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. Today, I think it's high time we got ourselves um, started on Batania. So I cleared out an area down there for it. Hey, guy. Oh! Well, that's going to hurt. Oh, wow. He missed. He's terrible. He missed. So... I guess I'm just going to go down there and start setting up. Normally, I like to know what the base is going to look like bef when it's done before I set it up, if that makes any sense. That way I can make it look pretty. I can set aside specific rooms for specific purposes, and I can make the dimensions all line up. 
like I've done here. Like, I knew I was going to need this area here for infusion enchanting, or infusion, or infusion crafting. I knew I was going to need a spot for research, a spot for cooking stuff, and the wand stuff. I knew I was going to need that before I made it, so I, I designed the room accordingly. With Batania, I really don't know what I'm getting into in terms of room design, so I'm sort of going to be very cautious about what I make and how I make it. So it might not be... I may end up having to dig the whole thing up, but I think I heard another one. I thought I heard another one. Another Zombert. Guess I was wrong. But, um... Yeah, I really don't know what I'm getting into with Batania, so I'll probably be digging that stuff up at some point and replacing it with what I actually want down the road. So, I'm gonna, I guess, get situated over there and see what I can come up with. I decided it was about time I made myself a nice set of boots. Here I have a set of the Boots of the Traveler, and I've just finished decking it out with all sorts of enchantments. Protection, feather falling, haste, and repair. These things have taken over another slot, my inventory, and oh, that is much faster. I can now walk up things I couldn't walk up before. We jump further. Actually, this is a bit too much. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I make it over this? Oh, I can. So I can jump higher with these. I don't know if I want that. But I don't know if it's a, um, if it's a choice anymore. Cause I do like the one high jump. I don't... I generally don't like to get that extra bit of jump, but you know what? Oh well. I can travel a lot faster now, and that's that's what I really wanted. And I don't seem to take any falling damage, despite tremendous height. Let's see if I can't purposely... Okay, so yeah, there is a limit to how much I can... Yeah not get hurt by. Oh, I thought I'd killed you. I'm getting better with the bow. <laughs> Speaking of bows, I should probably look to getting something better than this little guy. It's kind of sad. I do have a few options. I could go with the bone bow, which I believe I already have the research for. Yes, I do. I could make that or, isn't there like a Tinker's Construct bow these days? Or do I not have that? I'm not seeing anything but the old short bow that I didn't really care much for. There used to be, or used to be, there's supposed to be a new thing, like a, a long bow and a crossbow, but I guess not. Um, and also there is... There is this guy, Flux Infused Bow. I might want to try this out, because I can put some cool enchantments on this. You know, I'm going to do that. Let's, In fact, let's make this right now. Let's grind up some obsidian. Where are you at? There's the grinder. Okay, what else do I need? Um, ground up Electrum. Let's make... Hopefully two will be enough. Fluid transposer. And I need to melt. You need to go out that way. And that's going to give me... Yeah, I need to melt two more. Do I have any blazing pyrothium left? That is the question. I do not believe. 
believe so. It's withering dust. It's coal. Sulfur. Well, what's the last bit? Gunpowder? I don't remember. I do not remember. FZ Dark Iron Dust. Oh, I'm all confused. Oh no, it's Blaze Powder. That's what it was. I, I For some reason I always thought it was gunpowder until I went to make it not too long ago. Found out that that was certainly not the case. Alright, take that. Take it to an induction smelter. And that should give me the two things, the two rods. I need three strings and an obsidian rod, which means another blaze powder. We're making stuff on camera for once. It's in one of these machines. And this, oh yeah. One, two, three. That should be it. Let's put this powder away. I'll put it here for some reason. Zoop. Fluxed, infused, short bow. Or, not short bow, just the regular bow. Press V to empower. I don't have any energy on it yet, so let's throw it in here for a while. A long while, maybe. And let's look at what enchantments I have available for it. There's power five. Should probably look towards getting infinity, but I think the best way to do what I really want done. One, two, three. Is just go ahead and make uh, make myself a bow. Use the Osmiotic Enchanter to get it, uh, get it myself. Where's it at? He, ah. <laughs> I, I knew you get used to all this new running stuff. So, I just got a whole bunch of new things. Implosion, Destruction, and Wrecking. And Fire Protection. Actually, that is my first Fire Protection, so I might as well keep it. Um, so yeah, let's come down here to our Osmiotic Enchanter. Uh, and we, we will check out what enchantments we can put on this. There's Quick Draw. Let's just throw this here. There's Power, which I have. There's Punch, which I, I don't know if I want to put on it. Flame, same. Infinity. Is that something I can put on right now? The only thing I don't have is air. That's gonna. This is gonna require air. This is gonna require order and perdicio. Yeah, I guess this isn't actually going to be difficult to do. Let's put on infinity. Quick draw. Does this? Oh, quick draw is gonna take more than I have, so let me go fill up these wands and we'll go ahead and get everything to make the ultimate quick draw bow of justice. Enchanting! Boop. Just like that, we got infinity and quick draw. So now we are going to come up here. Run, 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 super fast. We are going to go to the Auto Disenchanter, which is going to strip it of one of these and put it onto a book. Same with the other. And that's what's great about this, um, the, those two different uh, processes for, what's it called? En enchanting, disenchanting, and re-enchanting. It's all craziness. And the reason I'm actually even bothering to put this on the book first is so I can duplicate the enchantments 
over here in this typesetting table before I put them on the next thing. Nom, nom, nom. And to do that I'm going to need 40 levels, which I don't yet have. It's a shame I can't get it directly out of that. I'm just... This is what I'm talking about. Essence drum. But oh well. Is this holding three? Which I think is a garbage enchant. I might want to put that spellbinding cloth up here and get a bunch of free books, but I don't know how useful that'll be. Alright. So we got our infinity. There's another holding three. I could I could combine the two in the anvil, but I really don't think it's worth it. Why does it say 16,001 here? Oh no, that's 160,000. My bad! And we have a useless bow. Let's put on our reading glasses of justice. Check this out. Oh no, I went up. I went up the thing. Alright, so that requires 40 levels. This requires 40 levels. So I've got some work to do. In the meantime, let's let's test out how powerful this stuff is on its own. Actually, screw that. Let's let's go ahead and put power on this finally. Where is my power book? Just had it. I just had it. Where is it? Power four. Those things are dead. Where is my power enchant? Is it in my inventory? Oh my god, I've got to stop losing stuff. So this is what's great about applied energistics, is everything's going to go in one place, so I won't be able to lose my enchantment so easily. Oh my god! Quick draw, infinity. Where the heck did I put it? I'm going crazy, guys. I'm I'm gone crazy. Ha ha ha! It's probably down here somewhere. I thought my nodes disappeared for a second, then I realized I took off the um. The thing. It's, there's no chest down here. Oh, it must be in this golden bag of holding. Nope. <laughs> I lost my power enchant book. Wow. I'll be right back. Found it. <laughs> I probably even moused it over it in the previous uh, screen. So there's power five. You know what, maybe I shouldn't even bother to put it on the books, or to put the, um, books on it. It's not important. Because I can always get another one. Crap. Alright. So, I do believe I want to throw an unbreaking on it. That oh, wait, no, I don't need to throw an unbreaking on it. What do these do? Implosion, destruction, wrecking? It sounds powerful. Alright, and there's power. There's quick draw, and I guess infinity, and that'll be it. It looks like you can't have quick draw and punch on the same thing, which makes sense, I guess. Because if you draw it fast, it can't be very punchy. I don't, I don't know. It's probably a conservation of momentum thing. And you know, I should really look into getting <clears throat> a decent set of armor that isn't uh, steel. <laughs> I mean, I've got this uh, this set here, which I should probably I could put haste on it. I don't have feather falling though. All right, and just infinity. Wait, that's my power one bow. I'm looking for the infinity book. And we're going to have ourselves an awesome bow of justice. Alright, this is not done yet, but I'm going to give you guys a quick 
tooth decay update. So I was supposed to go to the dentist yesterday to get my tooth all fixed up. And of course, I, I scheduled this way in advance and I had the choice between an 11, 11 o'clock and a 3 o'clock appointment. Actually, sorry, 10 o'clock and a 3 o'clock appointment. And I chose the 10 o'clock one because I wanted to get it out of the way as quickly as I could. Guess what? It snowed like crazy yesterday morning. So much so that I was unable to get out of my neighborhood. It was that slippy outside. So I had to call in and cancel. And the next appointment I could get is Monday. Ah, oh, Monday. As if the day Monday could not get worse. Alright, let's try to find something to use this on. I see a zombie on the mini-map up ahead. Is he real? I hear him, but he's in a cave. So he's not real. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to have this tooth fixed for some time. Alright, I guess I'll test it out on you. One shot! Oh, stupid wisp. Okay, so that did a fair amount of damage. Oh. Die! Oh, and these guys drop new things. Um, and their crystal things that they didn't drop this time because they're stingy jerks. I guess this jump assist does have its advantages, but I don't know. If I, if I add roofs to my base, it's probably going to get annoying real quick. Uh-oh, I stepped on a mushroom. Whoa, trippy. Come on, give me something else to shoot. All right. There's a Zombert. Wow, these do a lot of damage. But they don't kill a fully armored guy. Oh, what does it do when it's empowered? Is this empowered? This is empowered. Is that it? I feel like it must be draining. It says 800 RF per use, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Here's an armored skeleton. Oh, one-shotted. So it one-shotted that armored guy. Is there, is there another armored guy I could test this out on? I hope so. And then we'll call it an episode, I guess, because... Oh, I heard a kitty. That generally means witch. Oh no, the pet! He stole the thing! Darn you, Joe Pesci! Yeah, this, this bow is much, much better. But it uses energy, which I have plenty of. It's no biggie. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I had a blast this episode making stuff. Making an awesome bow of justice. I think it makes the arrows fly faster. Just testing it out. I think that flies faster than a normal bow. Oh yeah, that's much... That's mu That's very different. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time when I actually get around to doing some Batania or whatever I happen to be doing next episode. See you guys next time.